In our introduction video on AppSheet, we saw that through AppSheet, we can create custom apps without writing code. Recently, Google added Gen AI capabilities, which makes us able to directly explain the type of app we need to AppSheet. And it builds us a starter app based on that explanation. We can then further modify and customize the starter app only through chatting with AppSheet. Let's consider the following example. Anne Gray is a manager at a company, and one of her responsibilities is to oversee the travel requests of her co-workers. These requests can come from emails, chat, or in meetings, which can get pretty overwhelming. She wonders if the generative AI feature in AppSheet can help her streamline operations by facilitating a solution for approving and tracking the requests. To try it, she decides to explore the AppSheet chat app available on Google Chat. Let's see how it works. In order to access this chat feature, we go to chat.google.com. Then we select Explore Apps and find the AppSheet chat app. Now let's see how the process would look like from Anne's perspective. On the first page, we can see that AppSheet welcomes the user and invites them to submit a description of an app or business problem they wish to solve. For example, by describing a workflow. Anne does this by briefly describing what she needs, something to simplify the process of managers receiving and approving travel requests. She adds to the description by noting the kinds of data she will also need to keep track of. After entering the prompt, AppSheet responds with a general app schema. From Anne's first prompt, AppSheet has recognized that the app should have an approval flow and asks her to choose how the notifications for approval requests should be sent. As we can see, there are different options available here. Anne selects only email for now. Next, AppSheet suggests a few screens she may want to include a form for users to submit new requests, a travel summary list, upcoming travel, and a few other views. These screens are basically the backbone of Anne's app schema. It describes what her app is all about. She doesn't want a My Travel screen in her app, so she deselects it to remove it from the app and then clicks Add. Now that AppSheet knows what to put together for Anne's travel request app, it confirms the tables that could be created in AppSheet database. These datasets are created based on the screens or app views that she just selected. AppSheet creates two tables to support Anne's schema, travel and team. We haven't entered any data in our app yet, so all these tables will be empty. If we don't have any data in the app, then how can we test to see if everything works? AppSheet thought of that too. After creating the tables, AppSheet provides the option to include sample data in the app. Anne is ready to test the app, so she picks yes. And finally, AppSheet prompts Anne to choose a name for her app. Anne calls this symbol travel. And that's it. AppSheet's next response is a link to a fully functional preview of the app that was just created. Okay, let's take a break and look back at what we've done so far. Through just a few question and answer exchanges, AppSheet was able to take Anne's request, which was written in natural language, and it recommended several solutions, including the screens that her app users will need to see, the things they'll need to do, and the place for the data to be stored. It's even set up the email notification to users. Creating an app through natural language with no coding is a magic that is now a reality in AppSheet. It enables many new users to develop applications rapidly and efficiently. Moving on, Anne is presented with the option to either preview the app that has been created for her or dive into the AppSheet editor for customization. She chooses to take a quick look at the preview first. As she navigates through the app emulator on her desktop, 
She explores the views that app she generated, starting from new travel, proceeding to travel by user, and finally upcoming travel. This last view displays both a map and a list of future trips, all filled with the sample data that she decided to include previously. Everything seems to be in order so far, but Anne notices that a view she had in mind is missing from the app. She has a particular addition in mind, a screen that compiles all the travel requests into a comprehensive dashboard, providing the finance team with an answer to a question they frequently ask. What is the total cost for each employee's travel? In the editor, Anne notices the generative AI feature she used before is available here too. She types in her request for a new dashboard. And in no time, AppSheet takes her request, dissects it, and suggests the necessary components for this new addition. It proposes a new calculated column for her team table and gives a preview of the chart that will represent the aggregated data. Just like she did before, and wants to scrutinize every part of the suggested changes. So she checks out the preview chart. And it looks fine. Then, she inspects the new column in the database to ensure all is well there. She uses the link provided to see the proposed change in the approvals table in the AppSheet database. With a quick look at the numbers, Anne confirms that the new view and the data changes align with her expectations. She approves the changes in the AppSheet editor and that's it. Her app is now live and ready to use. Anne feels that she has got what she needs. Her confidence in the tables and columns app she has created for her is high. Since she is happy with the functionality of her app, she gets rid of the sample data, deploys the app, and shares it with her team. Now, her team can see this refined version of the app and start submitting their travel requests. Fast forward a few weeks, while Anne is going through her company's intranet for a specific form, an idea strikes her. So Anne goes back to the editor. Knowing how often her team uses Google Chat, she considers leveraging AppSheet's no-code chat app feature. This would allow her team to fetch the required form simply by chatting with Symbol Travel. So Anne goes back to the editor and she enables Symbol Travel as a chat app for her domain's internal spaces. This step makes it feasible for Anne's colleagues to add symbol travel to their Google chat spaces, group chats, or even in private conversations. Now it's time to go over the settings. By default, symbol travel chat app would display a list of all accessible app views to the users. But Anne is building this chat version specifically for end users. The employees that primarily want to use the app to submit travel requests. So she chooses only the necessary app views for her users, which means she has to delete everything except request forms. Next, Anne adds a welcome message for her users, providing some context on how to interact with the chat app. She decides to include a slash command. By adding this command, whenever a user types slash new trip, the chat app promptly brings up the travel request form. AppSheet also provides a smart search command. This command would enable her teammates to use AppSheet's natural language processing pipeline to search her app for data or views. But she decides to keep things simple and disables the smart search command. Her last task involves setting up an automation to notify users whenever their travel approval status changes. In this page, Anne can create the right flow working with a graphical interface. This way, she can build the groundwork for the needed automation. Once it's done, she names her automation, tweaks a few details about when it should run and how responses should be threaded, and returns to the chat app builder to wrap things up. Thanks to AppSheet's no-code chat app deployment, Anne doesn't need to deal with any further configuration for her app or its automation to work in chat. AppSheet takes care of all the Google Cloud Platform configuration behind the scenes 
all with a single click. Now Anne is ready to share her chat app with the team. And there it goes. The chat app is now live and it's ready to be installed and used by her entire organization. Now let's say Jeffrey Clark, a member of Anne's team, decides to use the app. Jeffrey needs approval for his travel plans to visit the customer's premises. He has already installed the symbol travel chat app, so he writes the slash new trip command to bring up the travel request form. Jeffrey inputs all the necessary details about his upcoming trip into the form and hits submit. From Anne's end, she can see Jeffrey's request showing up almost instantaneously. The new approval request triggers an email notification to Marcus, Jeffrey's manager. Marcus receives an email detailing Jeffrey's travel request. After examining the details of the submission, Marcus goes ahead and approves the form directly from his Gmail. In a matter of seconds, Jeffrey notices a chat notification from Symbol Travel. What's the message? His travel approval confirmation. Congrats, Jeffrey, and safe travels. So wrapping up, we witnessed the power of AppSheet's generative AI feature. It helped Anne to build and customize a solution for managing her team's travel requests using natural language and no code. Anne efficiently solved a business challenge, creating a travel request app fine-tuned to her team's needs. The seamless integration with Google Chat and the smooth operation as shown in Jeffrey's travel request and Marcus's prompt approval underlines the platform's accessibility and efficiency. This is the power of no-code development. AppSheet's generative AI is revolutionizing no-code development, making it accessible, efficient, and intuitive.